Before we get into the video people, I am giving away 11,500 Apex coins every month. To be in with a chance of winning them, make sure you are subscribed to this channel and have that bell notification button ticked. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More details are in the video description. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Apex Legends video. So how are you guys enjoying season 2? I mean I'd love to say I was loving it but for some reason my coins when I purchased them somehow glitched and I didn't receive them, they didn't apply to my account. EA told me to leave it 24 hours and if I don't see them by then they will apply them to my account. So I ain't played quite yet. If this has happened to any of you guys, message EA help on Twitter which I will link within the video description. They will help you out for sure. Okay, so season 2, it introduced a new legend who goes by the name of Watson, who is pretty popular it seems at the minute. But today I want to talk about who I believe will be the next legend to enter the games. The third legend so far. This legend I believe is Crypto. So who is this dude and what do we know about him? So after watching the season 2 trailer, it's very apparent someone using a laptop destroys a lot of the map via causing an EMP. Although not confirmed by Respawn, it's believed this person is Crypto. During the end of Season 1, laptops could be found around the map. Many thought these were to do with Crypto, and seeing the Season 2 trailer and the destruction he has caused, we believe they are right. So who is this dude? Why has he destroyed the map? And what were his intentions? Well, a recent post by EA explains a little, but doesn't give too much away. On their website Talking Apex Legends, they state, Disaster has struck Kings Canyon, home of the Apex Games. A repulsor tower built to drive away the area's native wildlife collapsed, clearing the way for a stampede of creatures into the arena. Images of the disaster have been splashed across hollow screens from Solstice to Samaif, and hardly a reporter in the Outlands neglected to comment. Under normal circumstances, we at the Outlands Journal would leave such straightforward reporting to the mainstream, but reports of a mysterious figure appearing in the arena moments before the tower's destruction suggest something more nefarious than an industrial accident. The journal has obtained photo evidence of some of the damage to the arena. We believe the truth is hiding in plain sight. A new containment outpost and additional camps have been constructed across the arena. But the most eye-catching of all is certainly the cage. This six-story beer moth is meant to draw competitors to supplies like moths to a grisly flame. It seems the mercenary syndicate has no plans to let this attack stall the Apex games and used it as an opportunity to create an even greater spectacle. But one vital question still lingers, who wanted to put a stop to the Apex games and why? The syndicate recently had a run in with a rival organisation on the planet Talos. Could they have been responsible for this attack? So syndicate is obviously the group who run the Apex games. It states they had a run in with a rival organisation on the planet Talos. So is this crypto somehow tied to this organisation from this planet Talos? Now me playing Titanfall very much, which we all know is a part of the Apex world, I remembered the name Talos, so doing a little more research, this is what I found. The terraforming and automated life control operation system, or Talos, is a renegade planetary AI that serves as one of the primary antagonists in the overall story of Titanfall Online. Originally, Talos was a planetary environment control system and artificial intelligence designed by the IMC. Talos was designed with the purpose of controlling and altering the planetary environments of the frontier to allow humans to engage with the local ecology. To this end, Talos has the authority to remotely access and manipulate the AI of most machines stationed on a given planet. Following the Battle of Demeter, the system was repurposed as a way to counter the Frontier Militia's advances on the Frontier. Talos was deployed on the planet Tristan, a planet previously used for studying terraforming techniques, now the location of several IMC secret military research facilities. However, the AI would break free of its programming restraints and take control of a robotic army 
likely made up of spectres, stalkers and reapers, with which it fights and attempts to eradicate humanity. Telus now serves as a rogue element fighting for neither the IMC nor the Frontier Militia. So could this Telus rogue element be what crypto is a part of? The talk of AI, automatic life control operation systems, do kind of tie in with the gist of what we are getting with crypto. And could this be the intention of crypto, altering the planetary environments, which he started with this EMP? I mean, it does kind of make sense, people. What do you think? Yes, for sure, it's just all speculation on my behalf, but I could be onto something here. And not much else is actually known about Crypto, this legend. We know that he was a past legend of the arena. If we are to go off Pathfinder's original artwork, you can see Crypto on a banner in the background. Now another leak not long ago dropped which shows a data mined banner card of Crypto hacking one of Lifeline's drones. And more and more of these leaks are coming by the day people, so if anything else does drop regarding Crypto or anything else for that matter, I will have you covered right here on my channel as per usual. So this is what we know about Crypto so far. A legend leaked a while ago. Is he a part of Telos? Is he responsible for taking down the Repulsar Tower, which we saw at the start of Season 2's trailer? Well, none of this has been confirmed by Respawn as of yet. But guys, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and this is what you want to see more of, be sure to subscribe. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.